Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be preparing a bunch of solar panels for installation on the roof. I want to show you what it takes to actually prepare a solar panel and get it ready and why I'm doing this before I actually do the installation. So I've got a whole bunch of panels to install. I'm doing this whole project myself. I want to cut down on any prep time or anything uh, that I have to do extra during the day, during the critical time when I'm actually trying to make the best use um, of daylight when I'm actually installing the panels on the roof. So um, a couple of hints and things I want to show you just to prepare the panels and they make the work um, on installation day go smoother. Um, something else I want to mention, uh, in my case, I'm using the Enphase micro inverter, the IQ7A. Here is, here is one that I have here. This is what I'm using. Uh, one of the manufacturer recommendations is to not leave this micro inverter out in the elements for an extended period of time. They want you to install this thing on the rack and install the panels on top of it and cover it. Yes, these micro inverters are rated and are designed for external uh, installation on the roof or on a rack mount, but it is designed to be um, out there in the elements. However, they don't want you exposing this thing to direct sunlight or water for an extended period of time. So um, since I'm doing all this by myself, I'm gonna have a day to install the microinverters on the rails on the roof and also install the panels, get the panels on the roof, get them installed, get them hooked um, and do all necessary testing. So it's quite a bit of work for, uh, for one day, for one person. So whatever preparation work I can do um, will help my installation day go smoother. Okay, so usually panels come uh, solar panels come with the wiring kind of something like this. Um, this is obviously DC output, so um, direct current output. Um, and you end up having like the positive lead terminal and uh, the negative terminal. And the wires are bundled like this. So why am I getting it prepared? Well, first of all, kind of want to discuss how the panel is actually going to install on the rail. So imagine for a second we are under the panel. So we're facing the sky, the panel is on top of us. So here's the bottom of the panel and here is the rail. So I'm using the Iron Ridge XR100 rails. Oh, I just have a small section. So imagine the rails, the, my rails are installed like this. So the rail is gonna go somewhere in here. Now, in my case, the manufacturer of these panels, these are Astro, Astro Energy, um, 370 watts. The manufacturer recommends that the rail is somewhere between 12 and 19 inches from the top or the bottom. So I got a 12 to 19 inch range right here where the rail should go. And then the bottom one, I'm installing these in portrait mode just the way you see it like that. In your case, it might be a little bit different. However, preparation work still applicable, something still that I highly recommend that you do. Okay, so the rail is gonna go like this. Okay, and on the rail, so I'm gonna put it right side up. Here is the rail. The microinverter is gonna get installed just like this and then the panels every panel will sit on top of the micro inverter so we're going to flip it take this flip it this way this is how the micro inverter is going to look under the panel with the rail basically on top of it in this view so somewhere in here is where I want my DC connector. Here's the DC connector right here. And here's the AC connector. Now notice this is keyed. You can only plug these connectors one way. I'll get to that here in a second. But this is where the microinverter is gonna go. It's gonna install like this. So I wanna prepare the wiring and tuck it to the side of the panel in a way that allows me to just Put the panel on the rack, 
connect it to the microinverter, which will be installed before I put the panel, and just tie it down, screw it down. That's how I want my installation day to go. So the microinverter is gonna be installed kind of like this. The bolt's gonna go right here, gonna tie it down, torque it to the right torque level, and it's gonna look like this. So you want, I wanna figure out what the distance is between the center of the rail and the, the DC connector. See where it says DC? So this is roughly about four inches, right there, four inches. Okay, so back to this, my solar panel. Like I said, I want, in my case, the range is 12 to 19 inches. So I'm gonna measure, I'll take the halfway point. I'll take the 15 inch spot and I'm gonna tack on those four inches. So imagine the center of the rail is about the 15 inch. So the panel sits, the top of the panel is somewhere up here, 15 inches, and then I'll tack on four inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo these wires, get them ready and get them tucked to the side and show you how to do that. Obviously make sure that you're only clipping the, the I just have some zip ties here for the wires. Make sure you're only clipping the zip ties, not coming anywhere close to the wire. The last thing you wanna have happen is you accidentally clip a part, even a part of the, the wire. You don't wanna have that happen. That'd be a bad day for a panel. Even with these wires are not very long. They're about 50 inches or so. Uh, but the wire is really, the length is really designed to be long enough for you to connect to your microinverter or your circuit, however you're installing it, uh, but not too long that you have too much slack and you got wires on the, um, hanging on the roof. You don't want to have that happen. So in my case, I want to be right around that 19 inch mark. So I want these connectors, which I will plug um, into something else here in a minute. I want them to be something like this. And I want to tuck these wires under the frame. So they are nice and secure under the frame. Now, notice I'm tucking it to the right side here. Looking from the bottom side of the panel because the microinverter is going to be like this. So the connectors are going to be on the right. Again, rail, microinverter, and panel sits on top. It's going to sit like this. So I'm going to clip the wires to the right side so the connector comes in here. So I'm going to use these Heiko Sunrunner cable clips. Um, they look like this. Basically the bottom part here that clips to the side of the panel and then you run your cables in the longer part here. I'll show you how to do it. So I'm gonna grab the cable, tuck it in. Remember that 19 inch mark? That's where we expect somewhere in here. Now I like to have the wires tucked in under the frame, not over it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna orient my clip to do that. So I want it like this so you don't have to like measure it have exact measurements of where you want to clip it there's a lot of flexibility here um, the whole idea is that you don't have this whole wire just hanging uh, and then you try to figure out what to clip and where to clip and do that all the roof while they're installing the whole idea of this preparation is that i'm doing this in advance so i don't have to worry about it when i'm doing it, when i'm actually installing the panel so here is the wire in the clip, and then I'm gonna clip the other part, that thinner part, narrower part, onto the frame just like this. Just give it a push. And you see the little metal tabs in it kind of tuck in, be, get secured into the frame itself. And just like that, I've got my connector. Uh, I got enough flexibility, so wherever the microinverter ends up going, 
and then I can move this around as needed. If I need more wire, I can kind of push on the wires a little bit and get more slack so it goes farther that way. So you got a lot of flexibility, but the wire is stuck under the frame using this clip. And I got a lot of flexibility to move the connector, which will go into the microinverter. So the IQ7A microinverters come with a connector. It looks like this. It takes the DC output from the panel, just ch changes it to um, a connector that looks like this. It is keyed. You see how it looks keyed. You can only connect it one way. And once it's connected, you have to use a disconnect cable to get this unplugged. So I'm not going to connect all the way. I'm just showing you how it's going to look, how it's going to plug in. So what I'm going to do, part of the prep work, is plug this connector into the solar panel connectors to prepare it for getting plugged um, when I'm installing it on the rail. So it's going to look like this. These connectors will go into the solar panel cable output and it will connect just like that. Now the positive and the negative terminals um, of the DC output from the panel are key. There's definitely keying. So you cannot get those confused. This is an industry standard. You can only plug these one way. DC has to be plugged in using the correct polarity or you have problems with the with the connectors. Then go ahead and plug it in. Here is the negative terminal. And here is the positive terminal. And make sure you push it in all the way until you hear a click like that. Okay, and I've got my cables. Here's my 19 inch mark. I'm gonna have this in a little bit. I'm gonna have enough slack in here to connect this into the microinverter without actually having any extras that would fall. Um, you can obviously adjust the cabling a little bit using this clip. Clip goes on pretty tight. So you can adjust this a little bit. And then when I'm installing the panel tomorrow, I'll have the microinverter installed on the rail. I'll have this ready to go. I'm gonna connect, put the panel down on the rail, screw it down, and I'm done. I know these are tucked in. I know there's no, no slack. Obviously, I'm gonna be checking on the roof to make sure that there's no cables touching the roof, but I know this is in pretty good shape because I took the measurements and I used this clip. So, so that's how you prepare a solar panel for installation. It takes about 10 minutes, five minutes or so per panel can save you a lot of time. You don't want to be doing this on the roof. You want all this done right here on the ground. So your job and your time on the roof um, is a lot easier, a lot smoother. It's just plug and play. Uh, it'll make things go a lot easier when it, especially when it's hot and you just want to get the job done. You can do a lot of this stuff right here and then worry about just the connections on the roof and then you're done. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like it, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.